Well, you guys got another video on how to install Arch Linux the easy way. Now, Celtic Lad on our Discord server wanted to see how this is done. It's pretty straightforward. So what we're going to do is right click and create a new virtual machine. We're going to install the ISO in a second, choose Linux, and we're going to choose other Linux 5.times kernel 64 bit and click next. Give it a name. We can call this, say, Arch Linux. And from here, we're going to browse to a location where we want to store our actual uh, Linux install. So I'm going to put it into this location right here. Create a new folder. I'm going to call this, say, Arch. And then we can click OK here and save it right inside here. So there we go. So now we've got that done. Let's click Next. And now we can give it a bit of disk space here. So I'm just going to give it a bit of space. And again, you'd be putting this onto a machine, of course, instead of uh, the actual virtual machine here. But it, the principle is exactly the same. So I'm going to store this virtual disk as a single file because I'm not uh, going to be sharing this with another computer. So next up, we're going to go 16 gigabytes of RAM here and processor, give it a few more uh, processing power here. So that's now done. And now we're ready to put our ISO in there. So I've already gone over to uh, Arch Linux's website and downloaded the ISO. So let's choose uh, CD DVD and choose the ISO to install our Arch Linux. So there it is right there. I'm going to select it. It's in our downloads folder. Click OK. And now we can fire up our virtual machine here to start to install Arch Linux. So this is something you're going to see once you fire it up. We're going to choose the very top version here, which is Arch Linux install uh, medium. And we're going to go ahead and choose that option right there. So once we push enter, this will go off and start to load and it will put a bunch of text up on the screen. I'll speed this part up here because it does take a bit of time, but you should see a load of code coming up on the screen. Once you've done that, you should get to this stage here. Now, rather than typing in a bunch of uh, commands to install Arch Linux. What we're going to do here is use this new method of installing Arch Linux, which is a real simple way of using a script. And we can use the installation script to install Arch Linux. So let's type Arch install and push enter. And this will open up an options page where we can choose the options that we want to use to install Arch Linux. So you can use your up and down arrow keys on your keyboard. So first off, Arch Linux needs to know what language we want to use. There's tons to choose from here. And uh, we're going to be using English, and that is by default. So we use English here. Next, mirrors. This is to download all of the information that we need. So let's go ahead and choose our country, which is closest to us. So in this case, it's going to be England. Yours might be another country, and this just gives us the option to download all the packages and stuff uh, via these mirror downloads. So I've got United Kingdom. So let's go into locales again and just have a look here and see what the options are here. These are for our keyboard layout. So it's set to the United States. Obviously, I don't live in the States. So I'm going to set this to United Kingdom. And again, I don't want the language to be United States. I want United Kingdom or Great Britain. And that's the one I want to choose right here, because obviously uh, there's different ways of uh, the keyboard layout will be different if I choose United States. So that's what we're choosing for ours. You can choose what country you live in, hit the back button. And now what we can do is choose the disk configuration. Now, of course, uh, manual partitioning is for more advanced users. We're trying to keep this nice and easy. So let's go ahead and use the best effort default partitioning. Choose our actual drive that we're going to be installing this on. In this case, it's a VMware, and I'm going to choose that. But yours will say NVMe or SSD. Uh, but just choose the largest drive and use your tab key to select it and push Enter. Now we can choose which file system you want to uh, use. So for instance, there's a few of them here. You can do your own research and read up on all of that if you want to. But I'm going to use a BTRFS. That's what we're going to use on this particular install. But again, Choose which one you want to choose. You can do some research and find out what the differences are. Next, would you like to use the BTRFS uh, sub volumes, which are default? So I'm going to say yes here. And we're going to use also compression on this as well. So let's go ahead and push enter to use the compression. Now, I'm not going to use uh, encryption, disk encryption here. But if you do, you can go in there and configure that. For the bootloader, I'm going to choose Grub, but you can choose whatever you like, but that's what we're going to choose because it works pretty well. 
and we're going to use the grub bootloader. Next swap is true, so we're going to leave that as is, and the host name is called Arch Linux. You can leave it like that if you wish, or you can give it your own name. So let's go ahead and push enter here to go into the host name, and all you need to do is use your back arrow key and just give it a name, something that you can recognize. Let's just say me machine or something like that. And if I could type that right, there we go. And uh, push enter. And that should then name that me machine. There we go. Next, we're going to use a root password. So let's go ahead and push enter on the root password. And uh, now we can give ourselves a nice strong password. Of course, I'm going to use something a little bit more simple and it will say it's a weak password, but that's OK. This is just a tutorial, but use a strong root password. Once you've done that, you can then click on the user account and we need to create a new user account. So press enter to add a new user on the keyboard. And now you can create a new user. So let's use a uh, bright tech here. So go ahead and type this out, and push enter. And for some reason, it won't let me use that username. So let's go ahead and use another username. Let's just say cool beans, something like that. There we go. Push enter and it lets me use that one. OK, that's cool. So let's go ahead and uh, put in a password here for cool beans. And again, I'm going to use a weak password, but you should use a strong password. And once we've done that, we can now say yes default because we want cool beans to be a super user for this particular install because it's my install on my computer. So let's go ahead and push enter. And now we can confirm this and exit. There we go. Next, you've got profile. You can go in here and let's push enter here and we'll see what the profile has to offer. So it says type. Let's push enter on the keyboard again. And this will give us a bunch of options here. So you've got desktop, minimal, uh, server, and you've got some other options there. So let's go ahead and just push desktop here just for this one. But you can choose some of these other ones if you're doing it for something else. So we're going to choose desktop, push enter. And that should then select that option for us. So you can search here as well. And there's some other things here like select your desktop environment. And you can see here awesome. And there's some cinnamon and a bunch of other ones here. Let's just go ahead and do GNOME on this one, but you can choose whatever you like, KDE or Mate or whatever it is you want to choose for yours. So let's go ahead and choose that one right there and we can now uh, go back. So let's go down to the back option here by using your arrow keys to go down and we can go back. So we've got our settings here for what we want to use and we can uh, now move on with the installation. Next up, choose your audio interface. So let's go here and it says no audio server so let's push enter and you've got two to choose from here and uh, i'm going to go for pipe wire here but you can choose what other options you want there's two of them to choose from the kernels are we're going to go for linux but you do have linux hardened and a couple of other options here but you can do your own research and read up on the kernels here but i'm going to leave that as linux now the additional packages you can leave to later on if you wish but let's just go in there and take a quick look and see what it is inside here. And then we can go on to the network configuration. So from here, you can see it says you can install packages here and you can call this whatever you like. For instance, there's some options up on the top here. So if you wanted to say, for instance, like a web browser, you could type in here Firefox. I didn't mean to do the hash mark there, but let's go ahead and do Firefox here as it's instructing us to do on the screen and you can see now we've got Firefox as a package that's going to be installed. Network adapters, we need to make sure we have this set. So I'm going to use the network manager uh, necessary to configure your internet graphically in GNOME and KDE. So we're going to use that as is, as it's got set there. Next up, we're going to go for time zone. Again, uh, you can choose your own time zone. I'm in United Kingdom, so it's going to be Great Britain. So let's go ahead and type GB and you can do a search for it, or you can go through and scroll through this if you wish and choose the time zone of your choice. So let me go ahead and quickly do forward slash GB here, and we can use the uh, Great Britain. I'm going to type GB, there we go, and I'm going to select that one. So we've got Great Britain as our time zone. Automatic time sync, we're going to leave that as true, and we also got optional repositories as well. We're going to leave that as is because you can do that later on and you can now click on install and this is going to go off and install our Arch Linux on this system. 
all of the settings that we've set will be used. It's going to go down and get all the information and packages that it needs to install uh, Arch Linux on this system. So would you like uh, CH root? Yes, we do, because we need to now install our display manager and our desktop environment because we don't have that installed right now. So let's go ahead and push enter for default. And now what we can do here is we can choose our display management or desktop environment. So then I'm going to go ahead and use GNOME and you can use whatever you want here, but we're going to use this one for this particular um, install. So let's go Pac-Man space dash capital S space GNOME and push enter. Now you can see there are 59 members of the group of GNOME. So I'm going to install all of these repositories and that's going to give us the calendar, calculator, menus, music, and all the other stuff that you would want to customize your install. So let's push enter to install all of that. And you can see it's now doing all of that for us. Once that's then done, we're just going to allow that to install. It does take a bit of time. You can see backgrounds and all of that good stuff. So let it go ahead and do all of that. And once that's done, we will then be able to shut down the system and then boot back up and go into our desktop for the first time. So let's type exit here, and then we can shut down by typing shut down space and then do dash H and then now and push enter and it will shut down the system. Once that's done, you should be back at this screen right here. All we need to do here now is fire back up our Arch Linux, and this should uh, give us the option to boot to our desktop. There we go, Arch Linux, that's what we're going to boot to. And now push Enter, and it will load up for the very first time to our desktop. It's going to give us our screen here to log in. You can see the user account was called Cool Beans. That's the one we set up. Push that to Enter and we can then put our password in that we used for this particular account. So let's go ahead and do that right here. I'm going to push um, the enter button and we can now type in the our password to log in to Cool Beans. And there we go. We are now at the Arch Linux welcome screen. So you can take a little tour here if you want to and uh, and it will show you basically what you have. And again, we've just basically installed Arch Linux onto this system and this can be on a computer or a laptop as well and you can go through and have a little look so let's have a little look at what the tool says and there we are and that's it so we've just installed arch linux onto this vmware workstation but this could be on a computer or on a laptop and you would then have arch linux up and running you got your power button up here you got your time and of course you've got your little menu down here for show apps and this will show you all the apps that you have installed on here there's quite a few you can install more if you want uh, through the software store here so let's go ahead we've got our browser utilities settings and you've got your camera calculator and all that good stuff is what we installed right inside your settings panel here you'll be able to change colors appearance and make some customizations to your install you can see we are connected via a wired connection here and uh, that's now all set up because we configured all this it's all working and I'll show you that working in a second. So let's go ahead and go into here again. We've got text editor software. In the software area, this is where you can install all your updates and software. Again, I'm not going to go ahead and install anything else, but if you need to install more applications, you can do from here. And we've got installed and updates here. So it's up to date already, so I don't need to worry about that. Click on this one here again. And again, you can customize this to your own liking. We've got web. Let's go ahead and check the web to see if it's working okay. We'll just do, say, for instance, BBC Sport. There we go. Push enter. And there we are. We are now on the internet. That's simple. And uh, you're up and running, and you can customize this layout to your own liking. And uh, that can be another video. If you want to see videos on that, let me know in the comments section below. But basically, yeah, all you need to do here now is just use your uh, Arch Linux install. There's your files here for all your files. You can see there's where all your documents and music and pictures and all that stuff will be if you want to use Arch Linux. I wouldn't recommend using Arch Linux as a first time uh, user, in my opinion. There's plenty of other options out there that might be more familiar. This is more for the uh, advanced user or someone who's been using Linux for a little while and now wants to move on to something like 
Arch Linux, and this is how you can go about doing it. This is the beginner's way of doing it. It's not the advanced way. There's much more advanced uh, options available, uh, but this is a real easy way of getting Arch Linux onto a system, and uh, it's pretty straightforward, as you can see here. You've got everything here that you'll need. Uh, you've got your weather, you've got your camera, you've got your browser there, extensions. You've got your utilities right here. If you click on this, this will be all your utilities, and there's a couple of pages of those. And you've also got your console, which is your terminal here as well. So you've got some other tweaks inside here as well, if you wanted to mess around there. But again, I wouldn't advise you to delve straight into Arch Linux as a first time user. You might want to start off with something like uh, Zorin OS or Pop OS or Mint or something like that, and then get familiar with that for a while uh, before you start jumping into, say, Arch Linux. Uh, further down the line and of course you do have your terminal here so let's go ahead and do a quick search here for terminal so all you need to do is you can see console here we can open this up and again you can install stuff from here as well if you wanted to or you can install it from the software area so let's go ahead and type uh, sudo space pacman space dash s and uh, space neo fetch and once that's done push enter and it's going to say, put your password in for call beans. I'm going to put password in and it's going to say, do you want to proceed with the installation? Say yes. And we've just now installed NeoFetch. And if we type NeoFetch inside here now, you'll see that we have that opening up right here. There we go. That's simple. And now you can be like all the other cool kids and say you're running Arch Linux on your system. And that's pretty much it. That's basically how easy it is to install Arch Linux on VMware workstations and uh, you can do whatever you like with your system now just like you would with any other operating system you can make it your own by changing the background and changing all of the other stuff as well the theming and things if you want to and make it your own anyway with that said I think that's going to be about it if you like this sort of content then give the video a thumbs up and let me know what you want to see next in the comment section I'll be happy to make those videos for you uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll see you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.